Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back with some more Dragalia Lost, because stuff just keeps happening in Dragalia. Today's video, I'm going to be talking about the brand new Mana Spirals that are coming for Makoto, Maribel, and Isalane. Isalane, or Ellie, which I how I always call her. It's weird to see her full name, actually. Um, they got Mana Spirals. Uh, so I'm going to be talking about them, reading what they do, and... That's it. I will say real quick, it turns out that all those character buffs are already in the game, so I have no idea how current uh, Makoto, Maribel, and Isalane are. Ellie. Um, so it's kind of going to be kind of weird because I can only really attest to Makoto of the past. I don't know what skill changes they made to Makoto in between because it's literally been a day later. Um, and I also don't really use Makoto because he's really old and same thing as always. Isalane is easier to talk about because one, she's still insanely good, and there's some interesting things about her what they've done for her spiral as well. Because out of all of them, she didn't really need one, but they gave her one. But anyway, that's what today's video is going to be about. If you end up liking it, you can leave a like, comment how your current feelings on these spirals are, and subscribe to me if you want more Dragalia stuff. So let's go right into Makoto. We got Ravenous Fire, deals flame damage to enemies directly ahead, and activates Flare Stance for 20 seconds if the attack connects. Flare Stance increases user's strength by 10% and skills are powered up. After landing a powered up skill... These breaking sentences really screw me up. <laughs> After landing a powered up skill attack, Ruin Stance will activate for 15 seconds. Ruin Stance increases user's strength by 15%, adds 30% to the modifier applied to their critical damage, then skills are powered up. After landing a powered up skill attack, Ruin Stance will activate for 15 seconds. Okay. Kind kindled Heart increases the user's attack rate by 20% for 15 seconds. Shareable. Wow! Shareable. Okay. Interesting. I'm going to be really interested what the cost for this one ends up being. Because that sounds kind of crazy to me. Just being able to give it to anyone, but maybe I'm wrong. Strength 10%, co-op ability. Uh, co- no, that's his co-ability. His chain co-op ability is flame HP 80%. Equals wind resistance up 6%. If the team member is attuned to flame, reduces wind damage taken by them by 6% when their HP is 80% or above. Uh, we got Nature's Avatar, that's his first ability. Increases critical rate by 10% when HP is 70% or above. Also increases the user's skill gauge, fill rate, for their initial skill, displayed at the top of their skill list, by 10% for 20 seconds each time one of their attacks is a critical hit. After activating this ability, will not activate again for 15 seconds. Okay. Uh, potent stun resistance is 100% and critical rate 10% up. Alright. Um, this sounds super interesting, uh, to be honest. It sounds like you kind of want... He's definitely crit built heavy, so I'm going to be kind of I can't remember if old Makoto was as crit crazy. It's something that I can't, I can't, it's been so long since I've used Makoto, I can't even remember what base Makoto did anymore. But I know for sure that he needs a mana spiral. That's a, that much I'm very much sure of. This sounds like it could be potentially really cool. Has the potential of being able to do a lot of damage in a short amount of time. Uh, so good job on that. I, I don't know if I'm as sold yet, but I have a feeling he has he has the potential for sure to deal a whole bunch of damage with how this stuff seems to be going. The thing that we don't know is how his mods are going to be like and how that basically the time change on these skills because that's going to be the make or break it, the make or break it, the make or break for it. Um, so let's move on. After the mana spiral is added, the ravenous fire skill will be adjusted to ruin stance. Reactivates after the user lands a skill. Up. Okay, regardless of skill level. Okay. Okay. I don't... Okay. Maribel. Save the day. Deals wind damage to the target and nearby enemies and reduces their defense by 5% for 10 seconds. The defense reduction effect will not stack. Not one step closer. Deals wind damage to enemies in a line. Energizes the user if activated when the combo count is 30 or higher. Skill damage 15%. Increases attack... Skill damage by 15% benefits the whole team. Sorry about that. Chain co-op ability, wind HP 80% equals water resistance 6%. If a team member is attuned to wind, reduces the water damage taken by them by 6%. When their HP is 80% or above, benefits the whole team. Full HP equals, this is their ability, full HP equals skill damage 45%. Opponent bug resistance 100% and skill prep 100% plus skill charge 
So 5% every time she fills the skill gauge. Uh, hmm. This seems pretty damn good. It kind of reminds me of something not as crazy because what they gave to Lily was like a full on different attack animation when you used her second skill, I believe. Um, but this one sounds pretty solid to me. The main thing you always wanted to do back in the old day of Dragalia, Maribel was very good at dealing a whole buttload of damage and then just kind of getting out of uh, any situation that you needed for her. Um, it seems like she kind of wants to be played the exact same way. You basically never want to take any damage with her because the second you do, then you lose 45% skill damage. And I think that's still kind of a bummer, to be honest. Um, but the fact that she has just 100% all her skills ready to go and she has skill charge, that's going to be a big help. There are dragons, I think, for wind that help with um, uh, wind skill haste. So there's plenty of stuff that you can kind of do with it. Um, now we just need to see how much damage she's doing. Save the day getting... This should also be easy to get 30 high. If I remember right, Save the Day does a lot of, like, um, combo from what I remember. Save the Day being shareable. This could actually be pretty good, depending on how fast it is. It's kind of one of those things of, like, I don't know what the time speed would be, but in theory, it sounds like it could be pretty good. So that's Maribel. And now we have Ellie, who is 100% not really needing a mana spiral, but she's getting one. One of the top DPS's in the world. Um, Brave Bastion, shareable. Ooh, deals water damage to enemies directly ahead and increases the entire team's strength by 25% for 15 seconds. Hollowed Waters deals water damage to target enemy and nearby enemies. Deals water damage to the target and nearby enemies. Sorry. HP 50%. Chain Glob ability is HP 60% equals strength 3%. Increases strength by 3% when HP is 60% or above. Benefits the whole team. Buff skill time up 35%. Increases the duration of buff skills by 35%. Potent burn resistance and stun resistance 100%. Um, so here's the thing. Ellie's already really good. And after what they kind of did with Halloween Ellie, where they kind of changed her playstyle, um, not looking... I don't trust... I don't trust the skill that they have here. The one that deals damage now, because the main thing that, the way I understand Ellie was played, I didn't use Ellie, but I know for a fact that she's very good. Um, a lot of Ellie players, the reason she was top DPS is because her skill 1 was super fast, and all they did, they never used skill 2, because if you're using skill 2, that means there's time in your current um, play time. That means that you are not actually using skill 1 or charging for skill 1. Um, so all you did was crazy, crazy use skill 1 over and over again, try and get skill 1 as fast as possible with Ellie, and then keep on going, keep on going, keep on going, keep on going. Um, so them changing this to an attack skill means, one, the animation is going to be slower. It's just the way it's going to be, because now she has to actually hit something. Two, they're probably going to give her a longer cooldown on it. Um... I don't know, it just seems not worth it, if I'm being honest. They have to... In order for Ellie to keep her... I could actually see it, and I'm... I hope I'm wrong on this. I could see Ellie actually being worse if you mana spiral her. I really do think that if you mana spiral her... Because there's no way to get back that original skill. So here's what I would suggest doing. Let some poor brave soul test and see how much better Ellie is with her spiral. And if the results seem pretty tantalizing to you, and the gameplay changes to her sounds good to you, I would invest in it. But my current thing is, don't, don't bother man. Just don't touch the spiral. Because you, there's no reason to wreck a perfectly good thing if it's not busted. And Ellie currently has none, none of the issues of Makoto or Maribel at the moment, where Makoto and Maribel have kind of just been replaced over time. Um, because what they did just doesn't work in the game anymore, or their units that are way stronger than them now. What Ellie provided to the team with her skill 1 just constantly going and pure DPS, it's never been really replaced. Um, so I would wait, and I would say really, really wait for this one. If I had... I'd, I, I don't know the changes they've made to Ellie because of the, the current buffs, but inside my heart, it's saying, wait, because your knee-jerk knee reaction is, Ellie's already good, the spiral will make her better, let's go. 
And I'm saying right now, after Halloween Ellie, don't do it, man. Just don't do it. Uh, and that's my current thoughts on all this. Um, I think Maribel and um, Makoto will end up being pretty solid. And Ellie, I don't know, man. I need to see and wait. That experience with Halloween Ellie has changed me on some of these spirals. Where I just don't know if they're going to be what I want them to be. So, that's my current thoughts on it. You can tell, you can leave your thoughts below. Uh, tell me how you feel about this. Are you going to be spiraling any of these? I know a lot of people were waiting for Makoto. He's a fan favorite. They loved when he got his sexy, sexy summer outfit. So, now they got it. Now they, can, now, now they have a good Makoto that's not just the light Makoto. So, they have that now. But that's the end of today's video, everyone. I hope you liked it, and I'll see you guys in the next time. Bye-bye. See ya. Peace.